Heel. Good sits. Ladies and gentlemen, if you don't know who I am, my name is Daniel the Big O. I'm out here with the fluffy poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his bluish greenness. Sometimes it turns purple hair. Hey, dog, since you got that fresh cut the other day, that means we gotta wash your body. Yes, we do, and make them smell so fresh and so clean, clean. So that's what we have to do today. We have to wash up the fluffy poodle and get him nice and clean and show you guys the process that we use, some of the shampoos, conditioners, whiteners, and all of that greatness that we have to do to make him look this fabulous. Fluffy place. So I don't know about you guys, but I know myself and the Fluffy Poodle, we have a bag full of nothing but his bathing stuff and shower equipment. Now in this shower bag, the first thing that we have is a blue dog towel. This dog towel is a nice special one because it soaks up extra water and gets them nice and dry. We also have two scrubbers followed by his favorite shampoo conditioner. This is a two-in-one, and this one's a whitening. Now, before anybody says don't use this one or use this one over here, or this one's better for this dog or that dog, use whatever is best for you and your dog and that you can afford. Don't be hating on other people because it works best for us. Next up is what I believe is probably the most important tool. That's his brush and comb. If you didn't know, you have to brush your poodle before and after bathing. Otherwise, they're definitely going to get knots and be tangled, and it's just going to be a hot mess. I know it's not normal, Fluffy, but I'll allow it for the video. Fluffy, place! Step one is use a slicker brush. I brush him daily, so he's extremely... He's extremely good. Step two, use your comb. Make sure it goes in nice and smooth all the way to the skin. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Tell him, Fluffy, it's not always this easy. The only reason why it is this easy is because we brush him daily. Now, since we have Fluffy brushed all up, it's time to head on over and give him a nice shower. All right, we got our bag. Let's go in there. First thing we gotta do is open up that curtain. Next up, we have to pick up all of our family's smelly good stuff because they have it everywhere in this shower. You ready to get in this shower and uh, get all nice and clean and scrubbed up? I think that's a good idea, Fluffy. So let's go ahead and get you in and get you nice and clean. Fluffy, place! Good yeah, boy! The first step in washing a poodle is making sure you have a good spray nozzle. You really want a nozzle with multiple settings. This will help get the dirt off, but be gentle enough for sensitive skin. Get your water a little hotter than lukewarm. When you're first getting your dog wet, you do not want a hard stream. You want it nice and gentle. This will help make your dog more comfortable in the shower. You ready, Mr. Fluffy? Let's get you wet. I forgot to take off his collar. Yeah, if you didn't know, poodles are ugly when they're wet. But that's just my opinion. I think this is hilarious. Mr. Fluffy Poodle, all of his coat all winter long was all right here. The sun only hit him in those areas, but uh, when we shaved his balls right there and his coat off, you can tell he had a suntan. That is awesome and interesting. Now we really gotta start scrubbing. We'll use the two-in-one first, and then we'll use the whitening second. Lather him up all nice and good. Get you all lathered up, buddy. Next, take a little bit of water to warm him up and to get that soap all, all over. All right, Fluffy, the next step is we gotta rinse all that off. Next up is a whitening shampoo. Now, a lot of you may ask, like, why do you use a whitening shampoo? Uh, he is a white dog. But the best way to wash your dog, and just about every groomer I know, washes dogs two times. 
The first wash really is to get that nastiness off, and the second one is to double check and to make them smell good. Fluffy, you ain't gotta worry. This wash won't take long at all, buddy. I make this really fast because I don't feel 100% comfortable putting in whitening stuff on my dog. But at the same time, since it's made for pets, it's okay, but I just keep in mind the duration that it's on him. It looks like we're all finished and I can put this back. Ow. Oh. Oh, I put a lot of love in you, dog. Put a lot of love in you. Now we can finally dry him with this nice dog towel that we have. Yeah, I'm still drying. It takes a long time to dry Poodle because they don't have like, like most other dog hair. They have like polar bear human hair. Much different, much different. This part is amazing. Most people's dog would have already shook by now, but he doesn't shake unless I tell him to. So pretty much he can shake on command. Fluffy, break. Watch, watch. Fluffy, break. Good. Shake. Now you tell them that you're just like every other dog and as soon as I open up this bathroom door, he's going to have those zoomies. Watch this. Here we go. Reaching for the door. Watch, he's going to have zoomies. Break. There he goes. He's gone. Yum, he got them poodle zoomies, poodle zoomies, poodle zoomies. He's still going. He's still going. He's going around lap one. He's going around lap two. He's going around. When's he going to stop? When's he going to stop? He stopped for a shake and then he's going to keep going. He's going to keep going. Oh, he's seen something outside. What do you see, buddy? You good? Nope, I got more zoomies. Da, da, da. We'll finish drying you up a little bit more and then uh, we'll wrap this video up, Mr. Fluffy. You're a good boy, Fluffy. You're a good boy. Good boy. Well, Fluffy, I really think that's about a wrap for today. You're nice and clean, and I'm sure nobody wants to hear that blow dryer because it's so loud and the audio would be horrible. So with that being said, buddy, I think it's time to wrap up this video. Until next time, you guys know who this is. It's Daniel the Big O with the Fluffy Poodle. That's right, Mr. Fluffy Bear and his bluish greenness. Sometimes it turns purple hair. Hope you all have a great day. Remember, no matter what your disability is, you can still follow your dreams. Y'all have a great day, and we'll see you on the next episode. Bye-bye! Press the button. It's right there, okay? Press it. Love you, gotta push it.